Ever wondered how the rich seem to keep getting richer while paying less in taxes? Today, we're going to uncover one of their best kept secrets. It's a tax planning strategy known as buy, borrow, die. And it's as intriguing as it sounds. But here's the kicker. It's not just for the ultra rich. With the right planning, anyone can employ this strategy. The buy, borrow, die strategy is a three-step process. Let's break it down. Step one, buy. This is where it all starts. The wealthy, and indeed anyone looking to grow their wealth, invest in assets that appreciate over time. These could be stocks, real estate, businesses, or even fine art. These assets grow in value, but as long as they're not sold, the gains are unrealized and therefore not subject to capital gains taxes. Step two, borrow. Instead of selling their assets to finance their lifestyles, the rich borrow against them. These loans aren't considered income, so they're not taxable. Plus, the interest rates on these loans are typically low. This is a strategy that's available to anyone with appreciating assets. You could, for example, take out a home equity loan on a property that has increased in value. Step three, die. Here's where it gets interesting. When the wealthy individual passes away, their heirs inherit the assets. Under current US tax law, the assets get a step up in basis, which means the value of the asset for tax purposes is its value at the time of the owner's death, not when it was originally purchased. So if the heirs sell the asset right away, they owe little to no capital gains taxes. The loans are repaid from the estate and any remaining debt can be covered by life insurance policies. This step up in basis is somewhat unique to the US but many countries have similar provisions that allow for the transfer of assets to heirs with minimised tax implications. It's worth consulting with a tax professional in your country to understand the specific laws that apply to you. The buy, borrow, die strategy is completely legal and can be incredibly effective, but it's not without its risks. Borrowing heavily against assets can be dangerous if the market turns and the value of the assets drops. And of course, tax laws can change and there's been talk of doing away with the step up in basis rule. But for now, buy, borrow, die remains a powerful strategy for the wealthy to grow their fortunes and pass them on to the next generation while minimizing their tax bills. It's a stark reminder of the importance of financial education and savvy tax planning. Remember, understanding how money and taxes work is key to building and preserving wealth. Don't forget to drop a comment Hit the like button if you learned something new and subscribe to Cash with Cali for more financial insights. Until next time, stay financially savvy.